Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here. And in today's video, I'll be talking about why I believe only one thing truly matters for the Washington Commanders in the 2024 NFL season. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and the notification bell as well so you never miss a video and comment down anything you want and what you think matters the most besides the obvious thing, at least I think it's obvious, that I'm gonna talk about. Again, all those things help out a ton and I don't have my computer with me right now because I'm about to leave, but I'm recording on the phone, so if the audio is a little bit different and there's no graphics, that is why. But let's talk about it. The one thing that truly matters this year, for me at least, is how Jaden Daniels looks. Of course, I want to make the playoffs. It would be great for Washington Commanders to win 11 games, 12 games, but it's probably not going to happen. But if Jaden Daniels looks good, that is, is what really, really matters because if you have a franchise quarterback, after that, getting those extra pieces is much easier. And, you know, if, the, if it would be great, again, if they make the playoffs, win nine, 10 games, have an RG3 type season, that would be amazing. And, you know, maybe they do some damage to the playoffs. That's the best, best, best case scenario. Do I think it's going to happen? No. And there are other things that matter. I'm not saying that nothing else matters this year, but the thing that truly matters, the thing that's most important is how Jaden Daniels looks. I think the commanders can still have a successful season winning six games if Jaden Daniels looks really good. Like if he looks really good, but you know, they lost a bunch of close games. They're right there in a lot of them, but just a little bit off. But Jaden looks good, like let's say, or you know, looked good. Let's say he has like, I don't know, 24 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, or 24 passing touchdowns, 12 interceptions, and then maybe like, I don't know, 700 rushing yards and seven touchdowns. Like that, that would be a great, you know, really good season. And you feel good about where you are in the second year of Adam Peters, Dan Quinn, Jaden Daniels. And then, you know, maybe you have, you finish with five, six wins. That's not necessarily ideal, but guess what? Your quarterback looked good and you had a lot of one-year contracts. So you, those guys are gonna be gone and you can bring in the guys that you want, whether you wanna bring in some more guys for one-year contracts, if you still feel like the commanders aren't ready, or you can start to you know sign guys to a little bit longer deals. Also, if you win five, six games, guess what? You're gonna have a solid pick and you can use that pick to help out your young quarterback even more. Do you wanna, go ahead and get a left tackle, get someone uh, to help Jaden Daniels on that side. Or do you wanna get a right tackle? If Brandon Coleman's looking good, you can just get a right tackle or a guard or another receiver if Jahan doesn't work out, or even if Jahan does work out and you want another receiver um, or a tight end, even though you have Ben sent, like you have a lot of different opportunities to help out your team. And if Jaden Daniels looks good this year, that is gonna really, really accelerate this rebuild. I mean, you look at, I'm not saying we're gonna be the Texans, but you look at what happened with the Texans, they got their franchise quarterback and already in year one, they made the playoffs. That's a little bit unrealistic, but you look at a team like the Bengals, first year under Joe Burrow, he did tear his ACL, but they were you know, looking good. He was looking good and they won like six games or maybe five, five-ish five, five -ish games. Guess what? They drafted Jamar Chase and then the next year, they're very good. So that is the ideal scenario for the commanders. This year, some of the young guys look good. You know, maybe Forbes bounces back. You know, Jahan has a good year. Uh, Sam Cosme continues to ball out. Some of the rookies step up and, you know, do a good job. And then you win maybe five, six games, get a good draft pick, draft a stud to help out Jaden Daniels or to help out the defense because a good defense helps out your young quarterback as well. Maybe not as much as a stud receiver but it will help you out and that is another thing the washington commanders can do so it really comes down to this year in terms of at the end of the season if it's a successful season or not is how Jaden daniels looks because if he if we go out there and still somehow win seven eight games but Jaden daniels looks terrible which you know hopefully doesn't happen knock on wood but if that happens then regardless of what else happens if you know, Forbes looks like a stud or Jahan Dotson has 1,200 yards or whatever, we're not going to be happy. It, our, our happiness as fans, at least for me, 
at the end of the season is going to come down to how did Jaden Daniels look. If he looks amazing, I'm going to be so excited for the future. If he looked terrible, I mean, I'm still going to you know believe and I'm still going to hold out hope, but I'm going to, I'm going to feel much worse than I do now about the team. So it comes down to him and how he looks. And I think people at least initially have to be patient. And I think the fan base has moved past the Drake May, Jaden Daniels debate. But if you guys are still hung up on it, please don't be. We need all the fans to rally behind Jaden Daniels' first snap, you know, be cheering for him. And even if he, you know, whatever he does, because he is going to throw an interception, whatever he does, don't need to have some of you guys. And I think a lot of the people who watch my channel aren't like this, but there are some. But don't be like, oh, we should have drafted Drake May or put in Marcus Mariota. Let's chill on that for a little bit. Let's be confident in, in him. Because I feel like the, the guys that are really good and you know they have that right mentality, the fan stuff isn't going to affect them too much. But sometimes early on with a young guy, it can affect them. So it's just better if we're not chanting like Marcus Mariota, like I don't think anyone would, but there, there's some people that would, I guess. Or if Heineke was here, you know, you would have people chanting Heineke if, you know, Jaden isn't looking good. So let's just all rally behind him and root for him this year and give him that confidence that uh, he needs. I mean, I don't even know if he, he has that confidence, but give him even more confidence. It never hurts to give a young guy confidence. And if we do that, I think it'll help him out. He seems locked in. He's going to put in the work. You do not have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about him being unprepared or anything like that. So I'm expecting at least a solid season for him. And a lot of times guys that can move are a little bit more pro ready than pure pocket passers. And not only that, but he played five seasons in college. So that as well should make him a little bit pro, more pro ready than a guy like Drake May that might need to sit a little bit behind someone like Brissett. But I'm very excited to see what Jaden Daniels does this year. Uh, again, if he has a really good year, it bodes very well for the Washington Commanders in the future because they could be, you know, next year be a playoff contender going into Jaden Daniels' second season if he looked really good this year. And that allows maybe Adam Peters to be like, you know what? Maybe we're a little bit further down the rebuild than I thought we were. And we can go ahead and maybe sign a couple guys in free agency or extend some guys on the roster right now. Maybe extend Jahan Dotson or I already would extend Sam Cosby right now. I guess they're waiting, but I mean, he's a free agent after this year. I would try to get something done right now, pay him a lot of money. He deserves it. He is a stud for the Washington. All right, sorry, got cut out because the storage ran out on my phone, but I was just basically saying, think we should extend Sam Cosme while we can right now. He's been a stud, seems like a good guy, and he's gonna be a free agent. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new, and comment down below. Hmm, let's go Trent Murphy. I believe that's his name. The redhead DN who got suspended at one point. But thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoy, and peace.